Hey guys, um, so, sorry, I guess I'm just a YouTube teacher now, which is really annoying. Uh, everything about this unit has been, uh, inconvenient. So, um, <laughs> we need to take a little bit more notes today, finish the notes for this unit. Um, so we are going to be in module 23 talking about demographic transitions. So, uh, this is going to help us on Monday whenever we do our um, population curves. It's basically what we're talking about here, survivorship curves. So let's move into it. All right. So your demographic transition is going to follow your economic development. So this is a graph showing the pretty normal demographic transition. It's what happens as uh, a country moves from more subsistence living to a uh, more you know, technological living. So as you get more industrialized, as you get more high tech, as you get you know, a more established society, uh, you're gonna go through some pretty predictable population changes. So let's break these down uh, between each stage and talk about what's happening in each. Um, there's technically four, maybe even five demographic stages. Uh, we're only going to really focus on three, maybe that fourth one. It's not super important. The first three are the most important, though. So that's what we're mostly focusing on. All right, so the first stage, or what is often called phase one, your population is in a steady state. Okay, your birth rate, which is this red line here, and your death rate, which is the blue line here, are pretty equal. Okay, so you're born... Or children are born at the same rate that you know the elderly or the middle-aged are dying uh, a lot of times in this type of country you have an extremely high birth rate because children are part of the workforce so like these are places where you know you have lots and lots of kids because they're gonna help you on the farm stuff like that uh, the life expectancy is usually pretty low because it's a pretty tough life and uh, child mortality is really, really high. You expect a lot of your kids to die. So um, think about like pre-World War II, you know, kind of like Midwest America. Um, you have a million children because they're going to help you work on the farm and there's a really good chance that most of them are going to die of cholera or tuberculosis or something. So, you know, you make sure to have as many as you can. Uh, if you look back in your family history, you can see when we were in this kind of uh, transition period, like usually it is going to be y'all's grandparents or great grandparents. For me, it's my grandparents and even my parents. Uh, so my dad was born to a really old family. Like his dad was in his 50s whenever they had him. He's one of nine. My grandparents are one of like 14. So this is the reason why you get those kind of crazy population or crazy uh, family setups is because. You know, your child birth rate was really, really high because you expected a lot of them to die off, honestly. So that is stage one. Population's not growing that much, pretty, staying pretty stable. Okay, so then we enter into phase two where our population starts to grow really, really rapidly. Okay, that's that brown line here. Population grows super, super rapidly. In stage two, you start to get into a little more technology and medicine and uh, sanitation. And um, so your birth rate is still going to stay really, really high. It takes some time, like we talked about in the last video, it takes a lot of time for these things to kind of even out, okay? Uh, so your birth rate's still going to stay really, really high, but your death rate is going to go down because of things like, you know, potable water, um, increased food security, increased health care, stuff like that. Uh, your life expectancy goes up and your child mortality goes down. So people at this point in time are still having a ton of babies, but a lot of those babies are living and not as many, you know, people are dying in their 50s or living to see your 70s and your 80s now. So this is stage two or phase two of population growth or, uh, excuse me, demographic transition. Wow. It's been a long day. Sorry. All right. So this is the stage that the U.S. is currently in right now. Um, and that is where you start to get a slowdown or a level off, okay? Your uh, birth rate uh, starts to become lower than your death rate, 
okay? So, you know, people are dying and women aren't having quite as many babies. Maybe your fertility rate, your replacement fertility rate starts to get around, you know, two or less. Um, so usually this occurs in places where the economy is really stable and the education and treatment of women is really high. Uh, kids become kind of a financial burden. It starts to be expensive to have children. And uh, women have a lot more access to family planning and birth control and stuff like that. Women have more rights. Uh, so again, you can see here we have this natural, it says increase, but it should be decrease in, oh, it's because this is a weird looking chart. Sorry, weird. Anyway, so your population is starting to slow or level off because people just aren't having quite as many babies. Your birth rate is going down. Your death rate is still going down because of medicine and stuff. Um, and in our stage three or phase three, you have a lot of affluence, okay, which is where people are really wealthy. Uh, and it's not just like, you know, everybody's a millionaire, but compared to, you know, global standards, people in these kinds of countries are doing pretty well. You have a fairly decent salary. You get paid, you know, decent, more than $3 an hour for your work, or $3 a day, excuse me, for your work. Um, food security is pretty high. You're not really worrying too, too much about where your next meal is coming from. Okay, so in this stage three, this is where the U.S. is currently at right now. Um, but there are a couple of places that are edging into this stage four, a couple of places here in the U.S., and there are a couple of places in the world that are in this stage four area, uh, like Japan and Germany and Italy and Portugal. Um, so in a stage four, and again, these are not really going to be talked a ton about on the exam, because uh, it's mostly that stage three, which is really important. But in a stage four, your population is declining, okay? You are having very few babies. Um, there's a lot more older people than younger people. And uh, this can cause some, like, really interesting population issues, like uh, your Social Security programs can get really, really expensive and start to become a burden because you don't have enough people in your tax base to support those Social Security programs. So, in these places here that are having issues with their population declining and uh, their working class declining because, you know, like, we're, we don't have any teenagers anymore. Everybody's middle-aged and old. Um, so, what they do is they have lots of incentives and tax breaks and things like that for having multiple kids. And uh, they really push hard for immigration. They want people to move in and to, uh, you know, have lots of babies in that area. So... Typically, our total fertility rate, and this is weird because this is kind of like, um, it shouldn't, you would expect as a country becomes more affluent, the amount of kids they would have would continue to go down. You would expect that line to continue to go all the way down, okay, but it doesn't. And it's a little bit, um, oh... Ironic, maybe, that usually it's really expensive to have kids. But the more money you have, a lot of times the more kids you have. And that's why our total fertility rate's never going to really fall below 1.2. Um, so I don't know if you guys have this, but it's definitely a case for me. Uh, my doctor, uh, obviously he's making a lot of money. He's a doctor. He's a, you know whatever he has pictures of his family up on the wall in his doctor's office and he's like eight kids okay because the higher your money the more affluence you have the easier it becomes to take kids or to take care of kids and a lot of times too if you have people that are like really rich and hoity-toity and have a lot of money and stuff they want to leave an impact on the world and so they have lots of kids um so that they can like continue on their name and whatever um so that is it for this unit, excitingly enough. Um, talking today about these demographic transition stages. Uh, so I will see you guys on Monday when we are going on our field trip. I'm really excited about it. Make sure to turn on your permission slips, and I will see you guys then. Okay, bye.